in today's video, man, I'm gonna tell you why some people cause a lot of foolishness, drama, and chaos. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I'll tell you that as a kid, man, I was very uh, active, you know, very disobedient, and I will tell you that I was bad. That's just an honest assessment of the stuff that I got into. If you told me not to do something, chances are as a child, man, you know, I was going to go get into it because I said it must be fun, you know. So, you know, every whooping or spanking or disciplining action that I got as a child, man, I tell you, I deserved because there's probably stuff that I could have got. Yeah, I tell you that because there's probably stuff that I could have got a spanking for that wasn't revealed you know, or that uh, I didn't get a spanking for. And I'll tell you for the stuff that I did, man, I, I wholeheartedly deserved it. You know, rest in peace to my grandfather because I'll tell you, man, I wouldn't be where I am today if it weren't for, you know, the amount of discipline and rebuke and correction that I received because I was a rebellious child. And uh, I didn't realize how much good that had done me into my life until I got around uh, men and women in the military that seems like they never got correction, they never got rebuke, and they were allowed to go unhinged. And I'm gonna tell you a, a, a common reason why people will cause a lot of foolishness, a lot of drama, a lot of uh, a discord. You see what I'm saying? The reason behind that is is when you go a long time, you know, you enter into adulthood and you've never really been rebuked or corrected, man, there's a there's a, a, a spirit in you that since you got corrected and you thought because you went that long, you were perfect, now what happens is your whole agenda is to try to discredit uh, and show behind the scenes dishonor to the person that gave you the rebuke and you don't care how you go about doing it. You'll spread gossip. You know, you'll give false testimonies. You'll tell the part of the story that makes you look like the victim and makes them look bad. And this is the reason why when you think about what's going on uh, in Israel, what we just saw when all of these people making videos and don't nobody know? You got to think, where did that start from? That started with the rebuke and judgment being issued. The rebuke and judgment being issued. And I'll tell you, man, anytime I got rebuked, you know, or a judgment was issued as a child, none of that felt good. But it was meant for you to analyze it, for you to marinate on it, for you to meditate on it. So you could realize, oh man, my actions are less than desirable and they got painful consequences. You know, and as a child, they're painful for you. You know, as a man, when you are choosing to move like that and uh, living like you're unrebukable, like judgment can't be issued on you, now this pain is gonna be pain on you, potentially financially, pain mentally, you know, spiritual pain, That's a that burden carries on to your family or anybody that you're providing. You know, I see leaders that go a long time in the military without anybody ever correcting them outside of like basic training. And what happens is you start to say that, well, nobody's correcting me on anything, so I must be perfect. And that's not, that's not nowhere near the truth. You're just around some people that don't give, uh, you know, firm rebukes and corrections. 
I tell you, even at my rank, 17 years in, I'm an E8, I'm a first sergeant. On this side of the house, the highest rank is an E9. But at an E8, a first sergeant, I still get strong and firm rebukes. You see what I'm saying? And it's not a, well, I got rebuked, let me go spread gossip and let me go spread this and spread that. It's, man, I must have done something even if it were a mistake or out of ignorance, I must have done something and that's not the standard and I need to drive forward and make the correction. Some people cannot make the correction. They wanna be talked to all nice and this and if the rebuke is not nice and you're not handing them lollipops and all of this, man, they're gonna sow discord if you light into them, you know, uh, light into them like a strong rebuke. You know, that's just part of the, that's just part of the military way, you know, uh, for, for young soldiers, they have to get it. So they can be more well-rounded leaders and understand that one day when you are a leader, man, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to rebuke others. And if you're not willing to do that, you're not fit for leadership. Oftentimes you have people that want to give the rebuke, but when it's time to receive it, man, they're nowhere to be found or they're throwing all these hissy fits. You gotta think, man, oftentimes, the path of least resistance and the path of rehabilitation or restoration is making the correction. You know you were in error, make the correction. And then living with the judgment. Listen to what I'm saying. You have men that will commit all of this heinous stuff, these heinous acts, criminal. You know, you'll kill all these people. You'll even have, you know, a man's family standing standing on his behalf at sentencing. And then the judgment gets issued and these men get sentenced to life. Now, all of a sudden, the the, the whole uh, court district, every politician, they're all wrong. It's all discrimination. It's all prejudice. But nobody's nobody is standing up for you when you're out making all these uh, poor decisions or not living up to what you should be. You know, people try to rebuke you, you blow it off. Too, too, too high-minded to get rebuked. And then when the judgment gets issued, rather than humbling you, humbling that prideful spirit, you go out and rebel. And that's the, that's a, when it comes to things that happen, especially amongst men, especially amongst men, you know, this is, you know, especially amongst men and women, you gotta think, man, uh, a, a woman on the job, Man, the supervisor can bring in there and give her a good firm talking to because you messed up. You legitimately jacked up. In that moment, you're not in receive mode of the rebuke. You're not in receive mode. You're in trying to tell them why what you did wasn't worthy of a rebuke. You don't even acknowledge the fact that you were in the wrong. Some people operate like that. Other people can get the rebuke and, and, and drive on. I know that between the difference between my all three of my kids, you know, I know if I rebuke my daughter, she's going to have the long face and tell half the story and X, Y, and Z. And I know it's, it's each child is going to respond differently. That doesn't mean they're going to stop getting rebuked. That doesn't mean they're going to stop getting uh, chastened. Definitely not. And you have to learn how to recognize when adults are pouting because something didn't go their way. And the more crafty or the more uh, somebody has an age, man, they have more craftier ways of pouting and it'll come off as a truthful testimony. But ultimately the source of that is the rebuke and the judgment as to why they're sowing all this discord, why there's all this foolishness going on. Why is everybody looking at one particular person that is in a power and authority, a position of power and authority to issue rebuke and judgment. Now everybody's looking at them like, no, nah, he's not fair. He's not just, he's not impartial. And it has to do with that one person that did not want the rebuke, didn't want to receive it. They got it and could have drove on. It could have been cut and dry. They chose not to receive it. They chose to rebel instead of be humble. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.